Good evening. My name is Ed Smith, and I'm with uh, Total Sports Talk, Beyond the Lights, and this is the Ed Word. I wanted to take a moment and address the comments that Tom Brady made on the Stephen A. Smith show the other day, where he talked about the NFL having a lot of mediocrity uh, right now. He doesn't see a lot of excellence. The coaching isn't as good. He, they don't develop players the way that they used to. Uh, players on offense are not protecting themselves. They're relying on the referees to protect them from the defensive players, which has caused a lot of frustration as far as the idea of playing defense right now. Well, <clears throat> of course, there was a firestorm of different takes across the Internet uh, just after these comments dropped, and some of those being like, uh, you know, the record keeps spinning. You know, essentially saying that retired players are complaining about the game not being the same game that they played when they were in the league. Uh, you know, fans do the same thing. They talk about, you know, the game isn't the same as when they were kids and they were watching it with their parents, their dads, you know, as they were growing up. It's not the same game. You know, the uh, idea that this is a collision sport, not a contact sport, you know, and while I certainly agree with that portion of it, uh, the the defensive line, the offensive line, that is a major part of it. Uh, but there is a difference of collision and contact. Uh, with players, uh, the training to protect themselves in such a manner uh, when they're doing different routes, uh, different activities during the play, uh, where they are on the field, you know, that... Uh, has to, you know, be trained into offensive players to help them with that. Well, at some point, you know, the NFLPA has decided to, you know, limit uh, the actual activity of the players between games to be able to absorb that kind of uh, brutality, that kind of collision uh, through every week, every year being in the league. You know, if you look at the NFLPA practice rules, you'll see that through the first 11 weeks of the season, the teams are not allowed to have more than one padded practice outside of the possibility of having a second one through certain uh, circumstances. You know, <clears throat> you know, part of that is uh, for the betterment of the players that they have now, but also to look into the players, you know, and how they live their lives beyond the game of football. We all know what happened with the CTE uh, situation, you know, where the NFL had to pay, you know, an exorbitant amount of money in litigation for the cases that were brought forth on that, you know, and, <clears throat> you know, so for that reason, the uh, practices that they do have cannot include King of the Circle, the Oklahoma drill, O-line versus D-line run blocking, uh, half line pods, three spot drills. These are all things that growing up in the game, we all learned were part of the game itself. You know, whether it be just look, watching practices, watching, you know, the toughness, you know, seeing who was better one on one, that type of thing. But, you know, right now that's not uh, being taught at the NFL level. You know, this is an evolution of the game. If we go back 100 years, Jack Trice died from injuries that he sustained while playing football, you know, hemorrhaged lungs and internal bleeding that he that he sustained while on the field. You know, these are things that move the, you know, things like that. They want to make adjustments on at being they being the NFL want to make adjustments on, you know, that's where the forward pass started to come in. It was something to mitigate you know the collisions that were happening in the scrum in the middle of the field you know and there were other rules that happened along the way that were there to help engage innovation while evolving the game so that the evolution of the game includes an innovation of the game and that in itself is actually leading to more engagement with the fan base because it's the fans that help bring the NFL along. And, you know, let's not think that Tom didn't take advantage of these rules that had just come out, you know, for him to be able to play until he was 45 years old. You know, he 
you know, definitely took advantage of that because with the amount of hits that he would have taken if it was the same league that he came into, he would not have made it past 35. Let's just be brutally honest with that. You know, he extended his career a number of years by taking advantage of these, you know, so-called quarterback protection penalties, these receiver, you know, defenseless receiver penalties, things like that. You know, NFL is a gladiator sport. You know, it, it certainly is. Uh, but <clears throat> we are not dealing with fighting tigers in the middle of a cage. We're not uh, dealing with hand-to-hand combat, combat to the death. This is a beautifully violent game that needs to work on the players protecting themselves and will continue to move to innovate, you know, as it is necessary to do that. So, in conclusion... You know, Tom, I I certainly see where he's coming from, but I also see that there's a reason why we are where we are. And it is, you know, just hang on because there's going to be more innovation and evolution of the game as we go forward in time. And <clears throat> that is the Ed word. For those that have seen us at Total Sports Talk Beyond the Lights, we thank you. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.